I just want to ask you, obviously there was another fighter that you were sort of involved with, Joe Joyce. What's the situation with yourself and Joe now? Yeah, I was co-promoting uh, Joe Joyce with uh, Richard Schaefer. He's working with Al Heyman in the States. I think he fights on the undercard. Of, um, yeah, so I, I no longer promote him. He's promoted um, solely by um, Richard Schaefer of Ringstar now. You know what, Dave, you're obviously in this role where you're a manager. You see a lot of money being thrown about, a lot of money talk. But talk to me about Canelo's deal with the zone where he signed an 11 fight deal. It's one of the biggest where he's going to earn $365 million. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. Give me your reaction on that. I think it's fantastic. You know, whenever you see an athlete uh, doing what they love, seeing uh, an athlete um, earning those numbers, you know, it, it warms my heart because you know, there's big money in boxing and I love seeing fighters earning big money. You know, there's so much money generated in boxing and to see, you know, you hear some of these big paydays that, you know, Joshua's, Joshua's earning that uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, you hear these, cr these crazy numbers thrown around and it's like, yeah, the, the boxers deserve it. The boxers are the one in the ring, putting their life on the line, entertaining the masses, selling the pay-per-view. They deserve to get a, a big, chunk of, big chunk of change. And, it's, and I, I'm so happy to hear, you know, Canelo's an absolute cracking fighter, probably one of the best power fire, power fire fighters in the world. Skill-wise, he's, he's amazing. So he deserves every penny of that. You know, you just mentioned Floyd Mayweather there. There's kind of talks of him coming back next year. Would you, would you like to see Floyd maybe enter the ring? He's, there's talks of him maybe a February fight and then later on I'd with like, a Money Pacquiao fight. I'd like to see him fight Khabib. That's what I'd like to see him, see him yeah. fight. Yeah. He's done, he's done McGregor. Let's do McGregor. I think I, I was at the last fight. I thought it was a great fight. Yeah. Um, I thought it, it, it united the, the, um, the MMA fans and the boxing fans. And they're both the same, same crew, you know. Whether you like MMA, whether you like boxing, it's all battle, it's all combat, it's all fighting. And a great, and a great, um, uh, a great fight is a great fight. I love the way uh, Khabib uh, um, holds himself. I love the fact he does, he's that he, he puts it on the line. And I'd, I'd love to see Mayweather uh, have a boxing match with Khabib. I think that'd be great. You know what? What did you make of the whole aftermath when? Khabib sort of threw, threw himself out and started, started attacking his fighters and there was just everything going on. It was just a brawl after the fight. What did you make of that? I'm not the one who can sort of pass judgment <laughs> on people for um, public, um, attacking people in public. Um, but, you know, he had his reasons, I'm sure. You know, I don't know what, what, um, what was going through his mind. But in terms of uh, entertainment, you know, he got, he got a lot of views. Um, I'm sure he's going to get heavily fined, but he doesn't seem to be bothered about that. You know, as long as he got the win, which he did, uh, that still stands. Um, whatever fine they give him, I think, you know, his uh, Ramzan Kadyrov or Putin will give him a... He'll never need to do anything ever again. You know, he, he, he performed um, and uh, that, that's all he needed to do, you know, win that fight and he's, he goes down as a legend.